Hi, everybody. Greg, Jenna, Will, and Tamina here for our uh, evening prayer for tonight. Our psalm tonight is going to be Psalm 119, verses 73 through 96. And we're going to hear from the Gospel of Luke. And we're going to sing, There is a Balm in Gilead. I'll be the officiant tonight. Uh, and so let's take a moment and take a nice deep breath, and then we'll get started with a sentence of scripture on page 116. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, gracious light, tonight will be uh, S59 from the hymnal. O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 119 verses 73 through 96. Jenna and I will say them responsively and invite you to join us. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me because I trust in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your loving kindness be my comfort, as you have promised to your servant. Let your compassion come to me, that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the arrogant be put to shame, for they wrong me with lies but I will meditate on your commandments. Let those who fear you turn to me and also those who know your decrees. Let my heart be sound in your statutes that I may not be put to shame. My soul has longed for your salvation. I have put my hope in your word. My eyes have failed from watching for your promise. And I say, when will you comfort me? I have become like a leather flask in the smoke, but I have not forgotten your statutes. How much longer must I wait? When will you give judgment against those who persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me. They do not keep your law. All your commandments are true. Help me 
for they persecute me with lies. They had almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forgotten, forsaken your commandments. In your loving kindness, revive me, that I may keep the decrees of your mouth. O Lord, your word is everlasting. It stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness remains from one generation to another. You established the earth, and it abides. By your decree, these continue to this day, for all things are your servants. If my delight had not been in your law, I should have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your commandments, because by them you give me life. I am yours. Oh, that you would save me, for I study your commandments. Though the wicked lie in wait for me to de- though the wicked lie in wait for me to destroy me, I will apply my mind to your decrees. I see that all things come to an end, but your commandment has no bounds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and was quite unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands on her, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, there are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, and not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, you hypocrites, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to give it water? And ought not this woman a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for 18 long years, be set free from this bondage on the Sabbath day. When he said this, all his opponents were put to shame, and the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things he was doing. Here ends the reading. Will you please join me in the Song of Mary on page 119. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join us in saying together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. 
He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We'll continue with suffrages B on page 122. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Almighty and merciful God, it is only by your gift that your faithful people offer you true and laudable service. Grant that we may run without stumbling to obtain your heavenly promises. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Our hymn tonight is from Lift Every Voice and Sing. There is a balm in Gilead. If you have a hymnal at home, it's number 203. Oh, 
take a moment to review the day that has passed and look for signs of God's presence in it. With trust in God's mercy, review your actions and words in the day that is ending. Remember the encounters you had with other people. Did you use your time wisely, working diligently and honestly? Have you maintained healthy habits and received God's gifts with gratitude? In your dealings with others, were you honest and kind? Where were you most aware of God's presence and what particular blessings did you receive? What actions or failures to act need forgiveness? And are there things you need to do differently tomorrow? I invite you to take a moment for silent prayer and to name before God those things that are on your heart. all our prayers, O Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We'll conclude with the prayer of St. Chrysostom on page 126. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining us for evening prayer. It's good to be with you. Y'all be safe and we'll see you soon.